A beautiful day in downtown St. Louis and just west of the Gateway Arch, Chaffetz Arena, where today it is a matinee featuring the Explorers of LaSalle taking on the Billikens from St. Louis here in the Atlantic 10. The Billikens coached by Travis Ford in his seventh year and after eight years as the head coach at Oklahoma State. Also a native of Madisonville, Kentucky, which is just about 200 miles southeast of here in St. Louis. While on the other side, a Philly legend through and through, Fran Dunphy. He's coached at Penn Temple. He's in the LaSalle Hall of Fame and now in his first year coaching at his alma mater. Fran Dunphy coming back in his 31st season, three decades as a Division I head coach. Steve Schlanger, Matt McCall, glad to have you with us on this mid-January afternoon. The Billikens in the gray, LaSalle in the blue. Matt, what do you watch for early in a matchup like this? Well, I think first and foremost, if you're LaSalle playing in an environment like this, one of the best environments in the Atlantic 10, you've got to take really, really good care of the basketball. And something Coach Ford talked about about this St. Louis team is how do we find consistency? How do we find consistency on both ends of the floor? They found that consistency here as of late, winning four games in a row in five out of six. They're going to need that consistency versus talented backcourt from LaSalle. Seni Drame and Francis Okoro. Arena just west of downtown St. Louis. Second game of our A-10 doubleheader in the first basket of the game. How's that for timing? Terrence Hargrove laying it up and in for the Billiken. The rhythm here in January. Yeah, Coach Ford talked about it. Trying to find consistency. Consistency on both ends of the floor. <laughs> the Billikens in the gray. LaSalle the dark blue. Two schools trending in different directions as Hargrove sizes up a three. And the first triple of the game falls for the junior who led St. Louis to their first ever state title not too long ago. Gore lost the handle for a moment. Now Drame answers with the first three for the Explorers. Fusini Drame playing on this LaSalle squad with his twin brother. Sincere Parker taking it the length of the floor. It's so good early in this game. Gary Collins with daylight. But Gill again on the recovery with the block. Now Deshaun Shepard in the game for the first time. And how's that for an introduction? And you can see Coach Dumfrey is awarding Antoine Gill for his effort. Sal. Hassan Drame, one of the twins, missing everything, didn't hit the rim. Shot clock almost expired, but Khalil Brantley, their leading scorer, saves the day. Right spot in that first half, Steve, for St. Louis. Had seven points and 14 rebounds, nine of them offensive. And Khalil Brantley showing the quickness in his first step. The sophomore from Brooklyn and a quick timeout by St. Louis, less than two minutes into the second half. Well, you can see here too, Brantley's so good when you put him in the ball screen, he can probe, he gets down the lane, he finishes with his offhand, big time finish. Any drama, leading rebounder on this team, leader in block shots, but coming off a career high, 24 points and 13 rebounds in the loss last Monday. Perkins knocks down the jumper there. Sometimes you just need to see one go in. Once you see that one go in, scores like him can have huge nights offensively. What's the strategy at this point coming up on the midway stage of the second half? Oh, I think if you're St. Louis, you've got to get back to executing your offense. As Jerry Collins, great job getting down the lane and finishing at the rim. He made the right play, didn't try to find his teammate there. The lane opened up and he went in there and finished. But in this game, you're talking about St. Louis team that ranks first in the conference in assist to turnover ratio. They only have seven assists for whoever's night it is. That's how you win, and that's how you win at a high level. Yeah, Jimerson here who scores had a career high in assists the other night when he wasn't scoring but was still helping the team to the win on the road. Team point win, the Billikens have won five in a row and they are off to their best conference start in the Travis Ford era. Six and one through the first seven in the Atlantic 10. Led by a career point win, the Billikens have won five in a row and they are off to their best conference start in the Travis Ford era. Six 
and one through the first seven in the Atlantic 10. Led by a career high from the sophomore Sincere Parker, he scores 20. The Billikens wind up putting five in double figures at the end. And they win it by a final score of 84 to 71.